grand rising or good afternoon or good evening or good night or whenever you're watching this what up though anyway y'all if this is your first time checking out my youtube channel oh my nose itch if this is your first time checking out my youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell notification so every time i drop a video you get that baby and don't forget to like share and comments i love to read y'all comments unless y'all trying to be petty in my comments and then i gotta read you like a book but other than that i love to read y'all comments so today is day 21 of my vlogging i have decided to vlog every single day now granted i took a couple days off because i wasn't feeling my best and so i wasn't just in the mood to vlog and record and edit and all that kind of stuff but I took my, let me show y'all. I took my black seed oil, my golden seal, my vitamin C, and my moringa. And my baby is back to bed. And actually, I had tea too. I had lemon and ginger tea. And y'all, I couldn't find agave, so I had honey. So don't crucify me, uh, vegans, but I did have to have honey. And I feel so good. So I'm about to get out here in these streets. I'm gonna vlog my whole day. I have some meetings with the Juice Plus um, company. I have some editing to do, some training to do with day trading. Um, because for those who don't know, I day trade. And I decided to just focus only on two things. The vegan foodie brand and the income that can come from the vegan foodie and day trading. I'm not spacing myself out doing 10 different things i'm focusing on two things i'm focusing on my savings and i've been reading the secrets of a millionaire mindset which really has been helping me to reprogram my mind so that i can go that extra mile because one of my goals is to be a multi-millionaire and to be wealthy in these streets and i'm not going to stop i am committed to wealth so I've been doing a lot of things to just kind of get my mind focused, get my mind trained, and also focus on things that will bring me wealth, okay? So anyway, I'm about to go to the store. I just had to do my quick little intro. So let's get out here in these streets, y'all. <laughs> store so i'm gonna go to viva which is my favorite store and instead of paying for a bag this time i bought my own bag to save and preserve because i really like to save money but also i love to preserve plastic so i'm headed to the grocery store it is in the middle of the day it is actually what time is it oh sorry um, it is 1.57, so it's about to be hot as fuck outside. And I got on a wig, headband, glasses. I'm probably going to be sweating my ass off because it is very hot in Dubai in the daytime. So, but all right. Let's see how hot it is out here. Uh, it's actually not that bad. The sun is shining. And it is warm outside, but this is Dubai. And Dubai is a place that doesn't get necessarily cold. Um, but I love the weather here. Like, and cause this October going into November and I'm pretty sure some of you are watching this. It's probably cold as fuck where you live. And it's probably snowing in some parts. You're probably wearing jackets, coats. And here I am with a short sleeve on, with sunglasses on, with sandals, with my feet out. And I'm actually feeling like I'm overdressed, especially with this wig and this headband on. So, But anyway, I wanted to address some things because um, I had posted a TikTok about how I changed the way that I eat because I watched how food affected my grandmother and her health. And a bunch of people were in the comments like, oh, you are horribly overweight. You need to work out, you need to lose weight. You know, um, you're gonna suffer like your grandmother because of your weight. And granted, you know, I know that one, I've gained weight since I left America. Two, I haven't been working out like I normally do. 
And three, I've been eating a lot of carbs, which turns into sugar, which turns into fat. So there are things that I need to do. And I'm very aware that I need to do some things to shed these extra pounds, right? So I look in the mirror every day. I know what I need to do. But that's not the issue. The issue is, um, why do people feel like body shaming or fat shaming or trying to assault, insult someone based on their weight is cool? Like, granted, I really don't give a fuck about people's opinions. And I'm not one to be, like, stressed out because someone said something about my size. But I am annoyed that people think that they can just oppose their narrow-minded insults on someone and think it's cool like we now live in a world where people think it's cool people think it's okay to insult someone online and they hide behind a page that doesn't have a profile picture they hide behind you know these social media accounts and think that they can just insult people sorry my alarm came on and cut my camera off but they think that they can just insult people and say whatever they want to say and think it's cool now me i don't give a fuck about opinions and i'm one to you know you say something crazy to me i'm gonna say something crazy back but some people aren't as strong minded as me some people are sensitive some people are emotional and those comments can take them over the edge so this is for anybody that thinks that it's okay to go on people's social media pages and you know talk about their weight or try to insult them first of all that's the first sign that you have trauma because a happy person a person who is living their purpose they don't have time like me i don't have time to go on somebody's page and say something negative why because i'm too busy living my life being happy and working on being the better me and living my life purpose so i don't go on nobody's page with negativity but if you got time to go on somebody's page first of all that means that you ain't doing shit with your life second of all that means that you have unhealed trauma and <clears throat> excuse me the way that you try to work through your trauma is to try to hurt other people because hurt people hurt people right so you need to go to therapy you need to meditate you need to heal and you need to stop that because realistically all you're doing is reflecting what's inside of you you know if what comes out of you is negative is derogatory is hurtful that means that you're a hurtful person so just know that when you you know like when you say those things you're only mirroring what's inside of you so for me that's a telltale sign that you fucked up and you ain't healed and you got some issues because a person who got issues they live in that shit you know a person like me who has been working through my issues i don't go on people's pages looking for negativity about them and even if i see something that seems to be you know something that's from a negative aspect it's more like a widespread thing that is like common like a low vibrational or this person you know has something going on that is pretty obvious not nothing to where i would just want to go and hurt somebody feeling so for those of you that come on my page or go on any other vegan page mm -hmm. and say hurtful shit or insulting shit get your fucking life together nobody gives a fuck about you and fuck you all right so let me go shopping Shake loves my tofu, so I'm gonna get some tofu. Gotta get mushrooms. Gotta get chickpeas. Check out that price. Oh. Coconut milk is always my secret. Once again, coconut milk is my secret ingredient. So y'all, I'm back from grocery shopping. It wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't as hot as I thought it was gonna be. So I can't wait to show y'all what I got for $4.80 grocery shopping here in Dubai with Dara Dubai. So y'all got tofu, mushrooms, tomatoes, chickpeas, and 
coconut milk and dark chocolate all for four dollars and eighty cents so you tell me in america what could y'all get for four dollars and eighty cents can you get this much stuff can you get half this stuff can you get one item what can you get so y'all i got some cloths to make i got some books to write i decided after much deliberation that I am going to do a how to do Dubai guide because I get so many DMs, so many emails, so many comments about I'm coming to Dubai, what, where should I go, what should I do, or um, I'm thinking of moving to Dubai, how should I do it? So I decided to just write a guide. So today I'm gonna be working on writing my, let me see, two, four, my fifth published book um so stay tuned for that announcement hopefully it goes to number one well it will go to number one because my first book the um my vegan book went number one my expat book that i released on my birthday went number one so let's go for number five going to number one too so anyway i'm about to cook so come along <laughs> Come to the common area to eat. Okay, I'll put it in the microwave. Okay. So Gene is over here with his Sony camera figuring it out he got the best camera in the house today so anything you want to say to the people <laughs> so y'all listen everybody in my house is sick well 30 40 percent of the house is sick so I made hot toddies for everybody. Um, I made dinner for everybody. I lost my nail. Um, I made black seed oil. I made everybody take black seed oil. So now I am about to put on my pajamas and get in the bed and watch movies, watch some day trading videos and just relax. Tomorrow is Halloween. So I said that I would make nachos for everybody. So tomorrow we're gonna see because you know how we turn up over here but anyway y'all i'm about to get up out of here make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel make sure you follow me on all social media on instagram tiktok twitter snapchat i'm everywhere baby i'm out of here peace